On this week's Growing, Eating and Educating, Nambop Farm Director Andrea Bushry shows us how to make a farm fresh bouquet of fresh cut flowers. Yeah, the flower beds on the Nambop Farm are blooming and who doesn't love some freshly cut, freshly cut flowers? Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to Growing, Eating and Educating. I'm your farm director, Andrea Bushry. And behind me, you can see our flower beds. So I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit of how we harvest flowers and then how we make bouquets. We're not trying to make bouquets that are super big. We're just making farm fresh bouquets. So it's a little bit simpler than uh, what you would find at a florist shop. With flowers, there are a lot of different things to think about when you're harvesting them. So the first thing you wanna think about is how long your stem is. You always wanna harvest a longer stem so that you can harvest and put them into different sized bouquets in the future. So when you're doing this, I usually go down um, and I'm also looking for a node. And so essentially all that is, is where you see more leaves sprouting out of the stem is right where you wanna cut. And then the next thing I'm gonna do after I'm trimming them is strip the uh, stem of its flowers and all this is doing is making it so that the leaves aren't pulling more moisture from the stem or the flowers um, And then the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have an angle cut at the bottom of my stem This makes it so that the stem can actually uptake your water and other nutrients a little bit easier And then after I've done that it just goes in a bucket of water and then we're ready to continue harvesting so the other thing to think about when harvesting your flowers is the percentage of bloom on your flowers. An example of snapdragons is they start to bloom at the bottom and then work their way up. So we come in here all the time and it always looks like the snapdragons are already ready to go and we need to harvest like crazy. But when you look at it, actually the top of these buds actually aren't blooming yet and they're not ready to blossom. So this flower actually isn't quite ready for us to harvest. Uh, the flower next to it, this yellow flower, is fully bloomed out. It'll be in bouquets and it'll last a good amount of time. The other thing is if it has a couple buds on the top that are just about to bloom, that's the perfect time to harvest that because it'll continue to bloom within your bouquet in water. We talked about snapdragons that have multiple blossoms on them at one time. Let's talk a little bit about these asters that have just one and the considerations to think about there. So these ones, because they only have one blossom on there, it's a little bit simpler to understand when to harvest it. So when you're talking about making bouquets and things like that, you're thinking a little bit more about the future and a little less about the right now. So you're seeing this, I have a couple asters here. One is a little bit too far gone and then there's one that still has its petals kind of closed in like it's about to open, but it's not fully opened. And that's when I want to start to harvest these. When I make a bouquet, I kind of like to think about different depths within your bouquet. So I like to start personally with my taller flowers and then kind of fill it in from there. I like to fill it in with just different colors. So to soften it up a little bit, I'll put some whites in there or some pastel pinks. There's no right or wrong way to do this because they're just simple farm flowers. Once you've finished your bouquet, the next thing that you gotta do is cut your stems to the size of your vase and then enjoy. These guys last for about five to seven days, so check us back next week at Nambop Farm for more. And if you'd like to follow Farm Director Andrea Bushry and the locally owned and operated Nambop Farm, they have a Facebook page and Instagram at Nambop Farm, N-A-N-B-O-P. Nambop posts frequently all their events and what's growing on the farm. If you'd like to reach out to them with any questions about the farm, their email is info at Nambop Farm.